New Year, everybody! I am Zidney, and welcome to Zidney Stories. Let me first start by saying that 2022 is probably one of the worst years of my life. Okay, so in my defense, and dami kasi nangyari sa 2022. I mean, January pa lang, you know, we were all sick with COVID, and it was really hard. Mas ang daming, ang daming may sakit rin talaga nung ano, January pa lang, 2022. And then, yung 2022, ang daming chaos talaga na nangyari sa life ko. May financial problems, tapos we lost Ashley, and it was really difficult for um, us, you know. Basta, 2022 talaga, ang daming... At sinabi ko pa nga sa tweet nung 2021, na sana, Oh, tama, tama, 2021. Na sana, you know, huwag na muna masyado akong mag-character development kasi parang pahinga na muna, chill muna, gusto ko mag-enjoy muna, but then, wala, <laughs> 2022. But also, I also tweeted na, you know, hopefully, I would really get to know God more. And actually, in those moments na ang dami kong troubles, ang dami kong problems, dun talaga ni-reveal ni God kung sino siya. And dun ko talaga siya mas... Um, nakilala doon ko talaga siya mas kinapinan. And, you know, that made me realize that um, yung mga friends ko rin who also experience troubles and problems, I also know that, you know, God also revealed Himself to them. So that's why I went around and asked people this question. I asked them, how did God reveal Himself to you? Pero bago ko pala ipakita ang um, question na um, I just want to tell you guys or show you guys my hair. Ayan. So, it's the year 2023 and the color of the year is Viva Magenta. So, that's why I went in and um, got my um, hair colored. It's actually hot pink. So, okay. so it's from Crowning Glory. So, hot pink. Wala kasi mahal na magenta. So, close enough. So, my hair was brown and then it ended up like this. Ayan. So, mas, mas kita siya, no? Kasi yung last time na sabi ko nag-violet color ako. So, anyways, wala lang. This video was not sponsored by that um, crowning glory. Talagang maganda lang tong product ito. So, if you guys wanna color it, it's not permanent, by the way. So it's semi-permanent. It's gonna wash off every time you take a bath. So, ayun, anyway, so, ito na yung mga um, videos. Ito na yung mga in-interview ko. Ito na yun. How did God reveal Himself to you? This 2022. So, one way that God revealed Himself to me this 2022 is three non-stop non -stop provisions sa life. Especially, netong starting, netong school year, um, sobrang, ano yan, alang-alang na uh, makapag-enroll ako. I mean, kaya naman, but uh, kasi yung scholarship na in ko, one, uh, one foundation reject na ako, then another. Um, so, hindi pa sure. And sobrang, inaccept ko na na hindi ako tatanggapin. But again, God revealed, revealed Himself, no, talagang hindi niya ako pinabayan. And syempre, through my family na rin. Friends. Siguro, in many ways, yung isang pinaka naisip ko is nung nagkasakit ako sa ay parang nandun yung reassurance tsaka yung um, yeah, kasi may time na sobrang na-depressed na, na din ako because of it pero dahil sa reassurance ni God um, I was able to overcome it and yun talaga, parang may peace kahit na sa very difficult situation my uh, refuge and my healer because this year it has been a really challenging year and uh, without him talaga uh, I cannot really overcome everything that's happened and parang naging sickly kasi ako this year so uh, sobrang na feel ko and na experience ko yung pagiging refuge na sa life ko and yung pagiging healer so first is yung mga opportunities na encounter ko sa OJT. Basically, I wasn't sure how it will go. 
and was nervous about how I will perform. But overall, okay naman ang naging experience ko. And yung mga things na di ko, ala- di ko na-consider na kaya ko gawin, nagawa ko in the end. So next is yung the people that I meet and interact with. So minsan, biglang may magme-message randomly about sa isang very specific problem na hinaharap ko. So I think that's God's way of comforting me. And I also, I also think that God showed Himself through all the little interactions that made my day a little better. Uh, siguro for me, si God ang biggest, naging biggest supporter ko and counselor. Lalo na um, starting college, um, mas kailangan ko yun. Um, maraming times talaga na na-burn out ako and yun naging clo- dahil sa mga moments na yun, mas naging closer yung relationship ko with God kasi I really had to rely on Him and trust Him. In him, lalo na sa new relationships na nagawa ko, sa mga new opportunities na na-open sa akin, and lalo na sa mga uh, new priorities din na pinapakita ni God sa akin. So, kailangan ko talaga, with His help, with His guidance, um, napipili ko yung uh, best way for me, uh, tsaka yung mga way din na gusto niya, yung will din niya for me. He revealed himself to me that He is faithful and sovereign about all. So, no matter how much I plan, if they work according to my plan, I still uh, put my trust uh, and hope in the Lord. By reminding me to be extra patient and to be extra grateful for everything that's been happening around me, whether it's good or bad. Extra patient in the sense that it's okay to wait and I should continue to trust in Him and His plans for me. Because what's meant for me will eventually find me, no matter how long or how short this will take. This is all part of His plans for me. Next is to be extra grateful for everything that's been happening around me. Because well, uh, this past this year actually, um, I'm more exposed to the outside world, the adult life, the working life, and honestly, it's been easier to be tempted to be you know to have less time for the Lord. But the people around me, my family and friends, and actually the situations that've been happening around me, would always remind me that. The, all the blessings that I have, the opportunities that were presented to me, were all because of Him. Uh, this 2022, God revealed Himself to me in a way that He became my constant. Um, sa mga mangyayari in this year, parang ang daming transition na nangyayari from college and ang daming ko rin meet ng new friends. For despite all the changes that happened in my life, God said na He will be there with me that He will never leave me nor forsake me wherever I go. So, sa mga nangyari in this life, He became my constant in this changing world. Uh, life after graduation. Kasi, yun nga, parang, sanay ako na lagi may plan sa, sa like, na, nakasunod, ganyan. Pero, after graduation, parang lahat, parang blank. And, He really, like, helped me humble myself to submit sa plans niya for me kahit na hindi followed yung gusto kong mangyari after graduation. Um, he uh, opened opportunity for me like to go abroad and um, to meet uh, different people and yun, learn na yun, to be humble in everything. Lala natin sa job hunting ko ngayon. Siguro kasi for this year, I had um, a struggle with existentialist questions like how real is heaven, mga ganun, uh, what would happen when we die. And God revealed Himself to me through those questions by making me realize what's really important and um, what's not and how to focus more on, on Him and on sharing His love for others. Um, para sa akin, siguro yung one time na feeling ko kasi ano na, parang paulit-ulit na ginagawa sa bahay, parang mula na rin ako ginagawa. Tapos, I thought gusto ko magtrabaho, pero wala pa available sa akin. Tapos, one time lang, parang bigla na lang kinusap ng friend ni Mama, sabi niya na may work daw na pwede daw sa akin, and pwede na ako kumita, and hindi naman siya ganun ka ano, time consuming. So, siguro yung time na yun, na-realize ko na, ano, parang andyan pa din siya sa akin, nag-provide siya for me. Kasi, hindi ko pa pinag-pray, pero andyan na agad. Then, there was this ngayon nga, yung sa lola ko, pinagkamatagal ko na pinag-pray na makalipat sa amin ngayon ngayon. And then, na-fulfill siya. So, ayun, feeling ko, ayun yung sagot ko na naramdaman ko talaga siya ngayong year. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. 
So again, diba guys, I told you that at the beginning of the year, um, wala, nagkasakit. Dami, yung buong family namin nagkasakit and it was really hard. So it was like, um, grabe ang 2022 parang feeling ko na agad na nagiging chaotic and I was right. But three things that um, God revealed himself to me. First is, he is Elroy. He is the God who sees. Um, in 2022, you know, I was experiencing a lot of insecurities. But then, you know, God is truly the God who sees. So, I that I was feeling insecure. And then, He just sends people to remind me how much He loves me. To remind me of my security in Him. Tapos, parang, in the little things talaga, misa may kailangan lang ako na bagay. Tapos, parang, I feel like it's so small. But then God is just, you know, He just sees me. Talagang I feel so seen by Him. And minsan pag I have my devil, tas i-reveal, kung yun yung pinagdadaan, tas pinang kakausapin niya ako dun, parang I just feel so seen by God. It's like sobrang, wala, parang I feel so loved by Him. So that's the first. Second is, He is my Jehovah Jireh. So He is my provider. Tas sobrang, <laughs> talagang na-feel ko that um, he is my provider talaga. Because um, may problems kami um, with kay mom, sa health niya. And then, si God, he was the one who provided for us. And then, basta ang galing lang that everything worked out. Tapos talagang, yun nga, God was just looking out for us talaga. And then, um, kahit yung mga, tinweet ko rin to eh. Um, like yung mga, yung konteng bagay lang. Like, I just wanted a new set of clothes. Tapos may nag-provide <laughs> sa akin ng gamit. Tapos parang ang galing, sobrang galing lang talaga ni God. Like, in the little things, or in the big things, you know, God was our Jehovah Jireh. He was really our provider. And last is, um, God is my source of joy. And it also reflects sa aking um, life verse, which is Habakkuk 3, 17 to 18. So, medyo mahaba yun. But the summary is that um, despite everything, or, wala hang, or despite you have not having a lot of things, you know, God remains as your source of joy. And I really felt like He was really my source of joy. Especially when we lost Ashley. So, um, ayun, it was really sad for us to lose Ashley and <laughs> parang right now thinking about her or how, the life that or the joy that she has brought to us. Sobrang saya niya kasi pagmalungkot ako, parang asaya lang niya to play and then this year just nawala siya. It was hard, but then God reminded me that He is my source of joy. That I can still be joyful because of my relationship with Him. So 2022 was really a difficult, difficult year for me, for a lot of us, especially for our family. But you know, God was constantly there. He is the God who sees. He is the God who provides. And Okay na ako guys, okay na. Uy, hindi ko talaga expect na parang maluluha ako kay, ano, kay Ashley. Kasi, you know, I just really really miss Ashley. And I just want to thank every single person who also shared um, yung mga problems nila and you know, who shared how God revealed Himself during those difficult times. And kayo rin, sa mga nanonood, if you guys are going through something, you know, always remember that it could be a, it could be that God is telling you something. And usually nga, sa mga moments when um, you have a lot of problems, that's when you really um, get to hear God the most from my experience. So, I just want to thank every single person who has been with me sa 2022. Grabe guys! 
I look forward to the people that I'll still be with and the people that I'll meet. Baka may new friends ako sa 20, 23. Pero please lang, Lord, please, huwag na masyadong mahirap pa. Ayaw ka na. Ayaw ka na ng ano. Ganito ako lala sa 20, 20. Okay, so before I officially say goodbye, I just want to give a big shout out to Carlis. Girl, thank you so much for the support. Sina, di ko ako na sub kung nakapag subscribe ka na ba pero thank you dahil you always watch our videos. Sabi mo nga, di ba? So thank you for supporting. You know, I I just do this. I just make these videos because it's fun. I want to edit and it's just I'm so happy na parang to be appreciated for mga videos sa gago ko. You know. May nanonood pala. Dahil yung mga ano guys, mga ginago ako like in videos about film, shows, you know, it takes months to do. I write scripts and I record and edit it. But you know, it, 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 it's, it's fun. So thank you, Carlis, for watching and supporting. I love you. <laughs> okay. And thank you guys when sa iba kong hindi ko na shout out. Thank you guys for constantly watching even though minsan ko na lang pinaggagawa namin or mga videos or minsan ang haba-haba na lang ko parang na lang, it's memories rin. So anyways, um, I just want to greet every single person here or every single person watching wala pala akong sa bahay. A happy, happy new year. So, bahala na ako nang mangyari sa 2023. Pero, 2023 please be more gentle. Anyways, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next time. Bye-bye!